Hello guys, this is Good Like, and we're back to The Witcher 3, the wildest of relaxing hunts. My life has been nothing but stress lately, so I decided I need to calm down and embrace peace and quiet and play some Witcher 3. I'm not sure how that works into the equation, but that's, that's what we're doing right now. We begin with this majestic view. Why do I even say such words? It's a nice view. Nice, calming, relaxing. We also have some fire burning ASMR. Maybe with some luck we'll get some rain as well. The sun is setting, but the clouds are clear. Look, fuck this, I'm just gonna cheat. That's not how you cheat for rain. Okay, that's fine. Calm down. Nothing bad has happened yet. Rain will come if you wait for it long enough. That much I know. Because this is Witcher 3. And that's what Yara wants to say. In today's goal, we shall traverse the land and reach whatever the hell is here, calmly, without anything horrible happening. Mostly because we're at the fucking corner of the map, so there's no way anything could possibly happen, unless we accidentally cross into outside of boundary of the map while going here in a straight line and then we get teleported somewhere else which would ruin everything but since we would be calm it wouldn't actually be ruined it would be great it's about the journey not the destination so by getting teleported literally anywhere else we would have a longer journey and thus even more calm. Mem I should start walking. There's literally a dragon here. I thought we killed all the dragons. That's okay. We're a calm person. And dragons don't attack calm people. As you can see. We're doing just fine. This dragon doesn't care. It's, it's not related to the other dragons. It, it hated those dragons. We're basically neighbors now. Good buddies. Right? Right, dragon? Dragon says yes. Right. Let's move on then, shall we? That's not a dragon. Oh no. Something is trying to completely ruin my peace and quiet. It's a flower. It's okay. We're not fighting enemies. We're just trimming some, trimming some flowers. That's that's just that's just something people do when they want to calm down, right? It's no big deal at all. See a nice little trimming. Over here, over there, and and there we go. You're ready for your Valentine's Day. With a beautiful whatever what whatever it's called Arc Arcus Four. Arcus four okay. That's how you prepare it. This was a guide all along, even though you didn't know it. Right. We almost we almost got angry, but but thankfully I, I I recalled my friendly dragon, so what's making that noise? Doesn't matter. It's a calming noise. Just relax, guys. Just relax, Geralt. Listen listen to the sounds of nature. And you 
which is technically also part of nature, because everything is. A long trek requires a fellowship, but a couple one together. We almost, almost had a problem, but it's okay. If we follow down as we face, we'll be in our destination. It appears the game doesn't want our journey to take too long. Maybe the game hates this. We'll never know. It's an entrance. Well, that's not good. That's a bandit with a really high level. Oh well. Maybe, maybe if we just talk, nothing bad will happen. Yes. Blast. Yes, the Blaster. the number one hero from One Punch Man. I also have. I'm also a fan of this anime. You want to talk about about? Oh no, my keyboard just almost turned itself off. Please, please don't kill me. I need. I need. Why did Numlock take out the key? That's not that's not a setup to a joke. All right. I'm not sure what he's referring to, but I'm being shot right now. I'm gonna have to go calmly say hi to the archer and ask him to stop. As you can see, as you can see, peace and quiet. Oh, good lord. No, please. I have no time for this. You're level 44 bandits. I'm a meager level 38 witcher. Actually, I just need like... Just give me one moment, okay? I want to visit this, this place instead, and then I'll come back. Maybe they're still upset about the second anime season. It was it was horribly animated. It, it was very horribly animated. Like like l let me display how horribly animated it was by by engaging in combat. Look 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 at this combat. This combat is better animated than One Punch Man anime season 2. Oh no. Well, that was unfortunate. Oh my. I seem to have taken some additional damage. Yes, yes, but as you can see, this, this... That was an excellent hit, as you could see. I instantly killed an enemy. Something that doesn't always happen in this game. In particular when the enemy is almost already dead. What a, what a joyous occasion to actually witness the proc of all time. These flowers, I collect them for my alchemical recipes that I have no intention of using and even if I did it doesn't matter because these aren't the rare flowers but they're beautiful flowers excuse me 
What's the matter? This is an angry person. I'm just going to block him on Twitter. Like this. This this is this is how blocking on Twitter looks like. By the way, guys, in case you were wondering, you, you must never compromise your peace and quiet. Remember that. I'm having really bad luck with these. Now, maybe maybe it's just that something far to the right happens to be high, high level. Let's do this quest. Completing this quest will surely grant me a level. A level of Zen. Never before seen or reached. At least in the series. What am I seeing? Is, is that a xenomorph? Just, just wandering around the wilderness? Well, he's minding his business and I shall mind my business too. We're not here to fight, we're here to calmly relax and enjoy the nature. The only possible way I could enjoy it more is by walking around instead of running. But even I'm not that crazy. This dog is no ordinary dog. Its name has a tint of color, like poop, but but you know, not not like hard poop. I, I hope you understand what I mean. But the point is, would you kindly not interrupt my monologue, sir? Thank you. The the, the color of poop indicates that you'll get pooped on if you attack them. That's what I was trying to say. Supervisor. It appears this is the wrong supervisor. Of course they would have multiple supervisors in a canyon as big as this. Yes, of course. I bring... Grave news. Because I put a lot of things to the grave. Well, have you learned how that cow came to fly? Normally, I would tell him that I don't have time to explain such simple vagaries of life. For I am calm, and I must have peace. But today, today is not that day. Today, you will learn the truth, and then there will be calm and peace. Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So what was behind the animal's plummet? Young Slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it, was trying to get it back to its nest, food for its mother and siblings. Probably heard the last of the beasts, burned the nest, Eggs, everything. A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. Here, take this. And I thank you, Master. I thank you for granting me level 39. It's exactly what I needed five minutes ago. But I'll take it now. All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just the dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil's widow compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, man? Back to work, chop chop! Maybe they're sleepy. And I've a notion suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at our day so. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or... Oh, locusts got them, like in Zerikania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architect wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your yaps and get to work. Clearly your bad luck is brought about by your agitation. 
Allow me to walk you away, master. You must calm down. Find your inner peace. And then you'll put the statue from the pieces. Truth be told, I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later, I shall divulge to you the details. That's the way it is, I... I suppose it was destiny that brought me here. To bring them a peace of mind. If I shall not do it, then who will? Gerald the peacekeeper to the rescue. So, Master, the workers who vanished. How goes the search? What? You didn't ask me to... You didn't ask... What are you talking about? Why? <laughs> no, I, I must remain calm. Clearly, he thought that just by mentioning that there are individuals in distress, such a person as just myself would go out into the wild yonder to discover their location post haste. He has mistaken my s seeking of the Zen for the graciousness of most uh, most generous monk. A mistake many make. Allow me to clarify and explain. They vanished. What's that mean? Just that. Along with ample supplies. I had placed an order. More than a dozen wagons reached the building site, yet five were lost along the way. Tools, food, building materials, and first and foremost, the specialists we need. The chief architect included. I wrote to the architect to say the quarry awaits. He should send new plans. But the foreman said the architect was here at Ardaizo. And this means... He's missing too. Got it. I'll look around, see what I can learn. Master, I know not how to thank you, but I beg you to hurry. We shall simply not finish without those five wagons. Well, if you must know, I'm not strong enough to pull five wagons. But I'll ask Roach, maybe he can do it. As long as you're calm and collected, you will always find a way. Find a way out. And if all else fails, just follow the GPS. Lord Almighty. Why have you sent me to the other side of the world? You're absolute madman. Well, I shan't refuse. Not now. Not later. Not ever. As it were. We must approach it calmly. And by approaching it calmly, we found a marker. And by finding a marker, we saved us. E. Immeasurable pain in the ass. Very well then. To the bridge, ahoy, we go. It appears the first of the people. I stalk the lard of the Duquesa herself. Well, I'm not Duquesa, so I shall have to refuse your services presently. For I am on a mission, a mission of peace upon this world. It is ever so blighted by monsters and things of such nature. Only I can rid the world of all this anger. Here's the cart. Well, wait, what's this? Oh, it's you, architect. Wake up. Leave me in peace, Witcher. Really? That is exactly what I came here to leave you at. Why are you going to the bushes, abandoning everything? What, what are you doing? 
What? 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 Why didn't you go straight? This is not the piece that I had intended to bring. Regardless. Wake up, you fool. I shan't steal your belongings simply because you're all drunk. After all, I must... I must, uh... Well, help you out. And if I steal everything, there's a chance that that person will just find another reason for me to go out in the world again. Good evening. Wake up. There's only so much peace that I can bring. Before it overflows. Wake up. White Wolf of Salvatore. Hey, wake up. Get up. Saint Lebioda sent you. I must now repair my wagon. They await me at the building site. So long. I've waited the whole day for them here. Did that bring me inner peace? No, that did not bring me inner peace. I don't know what it brought me, but inner peace wasn't it. It brought me questions and confusion about what what in the goddamn is going on here. <laughs> what was what was that quest? And are you making fun of me, game? I must calm down and walk calmly towards my destination. For that is the true way to peace. The only way to peace. The only way to find that which I seek. Just wonderful. How do I use the spell again of this thing? Ah, yes. Oh. Very interesting. looks like this weapon has a special attack if you use it that way but then there's also this with the amazing bonus that's actually actually I wanted to use a fairy saber didn't I because as nice as that is yeah it, it drains my vitality that's not a good idea so I'm not going to use it. I just wanted to see how it works. This one does less damage, but look at the bonuses. But, yeah. Armor piercing silver sword. That's impressive. Anyway, we should uh, visit the weaponsmith and get this bad boy sorted out when we have the opportunity. That was not a very calm fight. But it was a fight nonetheless, which I won with skill. And dried fruit. Smashed bones. Damn, it was strong. Those don't look like footprints of wolves, do they? Deep prints. Blood. Just trying to get away. Follow the tracks, Witcher. See, that's the track right over there. Calmly we shall follow them. Even though I cannot see them right now at all. It's quite covered for, by the foliage. But that's alright. Damn it. Spriggan! Yeah. 
Is this some kind of a lesson? Variant? What I'm not aware of? Oh no. My sound has gone all fucky because of my fucked up setup of sound. Yeah, that's, that's I'm sure that's very explanatory. What I meant is about when I said sound is my headphones. I need to plug them out and in again. Not sure how it works, but that's how it works. Hmm. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're alive. Once again, my peaceful manner has saved people. Thank you, Sir Witcher. Let Biota keep you in his care. It wasn't Lebiota. It was Zen. Well, I can understand how this one took one day. Yes, that makes sense. Those people, those people were frightened. They weren't just drunk. And Roach, you came from nowhere. Well, enjoy the begotic blossoms while I venture out into the world to find the next one on the list. What is this? The peace and quiet of a lonely hut. A broken ass lonely hut. But a lonely hut nonetheless. Challenged by none other but rot fiends. Not under my peaceful and quiet watchful eye. I'm sure that's not important. There's no possible way for me to know that this is the place, after all. Well, let's read this journal. Peacefully. A thick journal, written in a steady hand. The last pages, however, contain different handwriting, full of blots and crossed out words. A mysterious gentleman has come to me asking whether I would agree to sell him the stock of barrels we are preparing for the new wine variety. I refused him curtly, for I know how much the new wine means to Miss Matilda and how much depends on this wine's success. After all, Things have been very tight at the vineyard these last days. This extremely mysterious gentleman has turned out to be equally extremely wealthy. He came to me again with a very hefty pouch. Bum blasted. It will be very hard to refuse him if he puts me to that trial again. Today I forgot to lock the gates. To the barrel storehouse. I'm very ashamed. But what could I do? Miss Matilda is crushed. I won't touch that coin until all has settled down. I've hidden a sack stuffed with enough guardian florence in the snow and flower fields. I would not want someone to find such a fortune in my home. He has paid me another visit. This time he wanted me to procure him the recipe for the new wine. I do have some honor. Barrels are one thing. I can make new ones, perhaps even better ones. But the recipe for the wine. I said I'd sooner die. And then he gave me this strange look. Since shivers down my spine. I think I best barricade my doors this night. Don't take candy from a stranger. 
but we can take his cherry cordial. This place probably contains all of the words alcohol combined. Onions aren't candy. That's actually quite far away, is it not? My lord, it's far away. It's so far away, what are you doing all the way over there? I shall go back there at another time. For my quest is not yet at an impasse. 